come from anywhere. Beauty can come from the most unexpected of places, and I think that's what we're trying to do with our scrap lights. We had a cardboard chair that we were taking, and we took the scraps from the cardboard chair, and we made the first two lights. And we thought the chairs were awesome, but the lights ended up taking off, and now we've grown it into an entire series. I guess you could call Grey Pants a design studio. But we also like to think of ourselves as a creative think tank. Our projects could be anything. It could be a new house for somebody. It could be a new chair or a light fixture. I think we have a really hard time defining what we do sometimes because of the range on the projects that we work on, whether it's a chair or a light to a house. I think designing a chair or designing a house makes you a better architect or a better furniture designer. There's a lot of collaboration in our work and just approaching problems from every angle possible. Great Pants was literally born just scribbling on napkins. We both had jobs as architects working for different sized firms, and we still weren't getting all of our creativity out, so we would come home at night and start creating things. At the end of the day, we needed a bigger creative outlet, and that's why Great Pants started. Did you get that? Good. I think there's often a hesitance to put your ideas out in the open and really share your ideas, but something we always try to maintain uh, in our environment is just get your ideas out there and see how they grow. And like keep experimenting no matter what the process is. It's okay if it doesn't turn out the way you think it does because it could lead to the next thing. That's really what's exciting. I rarely have like done the same things more than a few times just because uh, it's more exciting to experiment with new materials. We really wanted to challenge ourselves with how do you use an entire sheet of plywood. And there's a lot of people saying that they can get like one chair from one sheet. And we were like, well, we think we can get three chairs from one sheet. And the only way is to sawdust. So to just really be relentless about exploring the material and what you can turn it into. And at the end of that product's life, hopefully it can be turned into something completely new and useful. You're never really finished with a product. Um, you may think you are, but we keep pushing it, keep pushing it. And we're still playing with our scrap lights. We're still changing their shape. I don't think we'll ever be finished.